What's up everyone, we are back with another Snack Crates. Uh, this one actually we've been waiting for a while to do. So let's see uh, what country it is. The best thing about these is it is only $25 and free shipping here in Canada, which is great because getting things from the United States, other munch packs, different things like that, usually shipping costs a lot. So this is $25 Canadian free shipping. And there should be five to six snacks in here. Sometimes from ones we got in the past, there was a little bit more. But the country this time is going to be Belgium. So that works. Um, going to see what's in here. I'm not sure what to expect. Hopefully chocolate. Hopefully mm -hmm. different things like that. Yeah. Um, for sure. But let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Do you wanna... Pick the first snack. Okay. It's not what I expected from <laughs> Belgium, but hey, it might be pretty good. Mm. They have a cute little like facts, fun facts too. Yeah, I'll it's one thing we that. like about uh, these snack it's crates. Good. It has the facts on the insert inside the box. Yeah, so there's facts, and then that's the first look here. Yep. Yeah. So you pick the first one. All right. Um... Cronky. Becky flavor, <laughs> which I'm assuming is hamburger fa flavored or cheeseburger or something. Yeah. That's what I'm assuming. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I wasn't expecting chips from Belgium, but let's check these ones out. Whoa. Ooh. I don't know if that's good or bad. It kinda, I get it. Well, it kind of smells like all dressed in a way. Yeah, but sour. A little <laughs> sour. Yeah, I guess I'll dress. But as soon as I open it up, you could smell it, so. Yeah, yellow, tinged. Yep. Tinged too. I will say it's good. I just can't point out the first flavor. Um, onion-y? I mean, the burger... It's hard to tell, but it does look like some grilled onions here. I'm getting a lot of onion flavor. Onion and like mustard fish kind of. Yeah. Definitely mustard. Mm, not bad. Pretty good. Salty though. Mm -hmm. Um. But overall, really good. Mm -hmm. And the chip itself, it's like a good quality chip. So I'm gonna rate these nine out of ten. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Uh, so these right now I'm gonna put uh, well put in first place. First place, yeah. I forgot how we do these videos. I, I don't know if we rate them each snack or we just put them in order. And so I'm just gonna put these in first place right now. Okay, we'll go with something a little more sweet. All right, go with this here. Uh, this is a milk chocolate dessert by the looks of it. It's really hard to tell. Kind of looks like uh, it's hard to tell on the camera here. Kind of looks like peanut butter. Mm hmm. Doesn't smell like it. Wow. That's really good. That's a good quality chocolate. Mm hmm. Wow. I would say uh, this is now first place. Even though I love chips so much, I would put this in first place. Mm hmm. You think the same? Yep. <laughs> wow. That's a high quality. Uh... First place for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, I hope they're not sour. <laughs> Haribo. That's a good brand at least. Yeah, okay, we have those here. Pasta fruta. Okay. Uh, fruit flavored kids, pasta. I'm kids assuming. and grown ups. What does it say? Kids and grown ups love it so. They look. Uh, no, I'll take a grain, I guess. Hard to tell. They look pretty good. A little sour. I put it in last place right now. Me too. I like the chocolate. I like the chips more. You think the same? Mm-hmm. It's good, but it, it's so similar with Sour Belts, except a little bit more gummier. Yeah, more chewy, yeah. definitely the chocolate's the best thing we've had so far, and the chips are going to be after yeah. that. Deli Choc. <laughs> yeah, that's all it says. Uh, Choco Bar. But it kind of looks like, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. 
It looked like really large pocky is what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, as soon as you open it up, it looks different than what's on the packaging. So I'll give you the first piece it's here. Definitely like wafer, like a wafer, for sure. Yeah, it's hard to tell, it's textured on the top. That's good. I'd put that in second place. Second? I'll put it in second too. I can't. It I says can't read it. something. It's sure. Oops. Sure, sure. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what flavor it is, but oh, it's like a barbecue flavor. Almost, it's like a puff. Yeah. Like a cheese puff, almost, but a weird shape. That's a that's an odd flavor. Um, it's like a mix mix between a cheesy flavor, barbecue, and something else. I like them more than the other chip. Really? Yeah, I do. So Whoa. right now I'd say this is in third place for me. I think we're gonna have to tie both chips to third place because I like the other one a little bit more. The other one has a sour aftertaste though, but these ones here, more like I don't smoky. Know. Yeah, it's like a, it's almost like a smoked hickory, like the hickory sticks we have. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie the chips together, okay. and then we have one thing left, which this one's looks amazing. Very interesting. Okay, so this one is a uh, wafer. Uh, oh, sorry, a waffle. Sorry, waffle, Belgian waffle. But as chocolate mm -hmm. on one side. Yeah. Chocolate on one side, and then plain on the other side. I'll open it. Let's see. Yeah, chocolate dipped waffle. Hopefully it's not messy. I'll let you have the first bite here. Okay. See here. Hmm. It looks good. Soft. Softer than I thought. Mm -hmm. The waffle's a little buttery. Uh, it's still soft, but it has that nice crunch from the hard chocolate on top. Um, I kind of want to put this in first place. To me, I think it's first place worthy. What do you think? Uh, let me see. <laughs> we have the first chocolate we tried in first place, which we're not sure the yeah. flavor, and the one that kind of resembles like a Twix or a Pocky uh, is in second place. So where would you put this? For me personally, I think this is would go in second place. Second place? I do really like, I'll show you guys again. I still really like uh, this one, the first chocolate bar we had. Yep, and even though we don't know what flavor it is, all it says is desserts and it's kind of like a milk chocolate. Mm, yeah. Um, but it does have something in the middle. I'm not sure if it's hazelnut or something just subtle. Mm -hmm. um, but it is really good, but so that's your first place. This one, in my opinion, is gonna be my first place just because it's so good. A buttery waffle, a uh, nice chocolate taste to it, and the chocolate is like premium chocolate because it's mm -hmm. Belgium. Yeah, I no, think that is a for win sure. for sure. So, this one here, in my opinion, I can't remember the other ones we've done in the past, but this one here would be. Oh yeah, so up far, there for my favorite so far, one. this box is the best box that we've done. Yeah, everything yeah. was amazing. I think we had one other box that everything was really good in it as well, mm -hmm. but this one here, everything was amazing. So I would, mm -hmm. I would say this one is our best one so far. And for only $25 to get all of these snacks, six snacks inside, and they're not skimpy on the snacks. Like it's full oh, sizes. Yeah, I've ordered sure. munch packs in the past where one little gumball, for example, counts as one of the snacks. And it's just doesn't make sense. These are like full sized snacks. So definitely a great price. Definitely recommend checking these out. Um, this box here, I would definitely say was the best one we have gotten. Mm -hmm. We do have a couple more that we do have to do. We have one coming from Columbia and then one that's supposed to be Canadian snacks if we do receive that one. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you guys in the next snack crate taste test.